Hey, learn audio engineering. What's the difference between odd and even harmonics? And how can you use these different orders of harmonics in a mix? Distortion can refer to any processing that changes the waveform of the signal, but what we're talking about is when signals get overloaded and waveforms get clipped. As we overdrive the signal, more frequencies are added and the waveform squares off, and this is known as harmonic distortion or saturation. The added frequencies color the sound and the squared wave limits the dynamic range of the signal in a unique kind of compression. The frequencies added are whole number intervals of the fundamental frequencies and create a richer timbre based off of these added musical intervals. The overtone series itself is a topic for another video, but for now, all you need to know is that these overtones are added to the original signal to enhance the character of the sound. For this video, we're concerned with the differences between even and odd harmonics and how each will affect the sound. When we examine these overtones as a harmony, a key difference becomes clear. Even overtones are made up of octaves and fifths, whereas odd overtones are made up of thirds and form a dominant seventh chord. Here we have a fundamental of 100 hertz. The even order harmonics would be 200, 400, 600, and 800 hertz. The odd order harmonics would be 300, 500, 700, and 900 hertz. But what do your ears tell you? Can you hear the difference between odd and even harmonics? Let's find out. Here's a quick comparison with a sine wave. The even sounds very round and pure, whereas the odd sounds much more aggressive and changes the timbre of the sound a lot more, and it begins to sound a little bit more like a reed instrument. Let's check it out on some drums. The odd harmonics are much more aggressive and they add that saturated sound that we're used to hearing. Whereas the even harmonics, at least in the plugins that I have, are much more subtle and round. The harmonic distortion is usually created by driving analog gear and lucky us, plugins can also add these pleasant artifacts. It's often said that certain gear creates specific orders of harmonics, and while this may be true for analog, I've searched through every setting on my favorite saturation plugins, and just about everything was some combination of odd harmonics. So if anyone has a plugin for even harmonics, let me know, but here's what I found. The URS Discrete British Mic Pre has the second, third, and fourth harmonic, and this reinforces the fundamental in octaves, which sounds great for bass because it adds in some extra weight in the low mids. FabFilter's Saturn has an ugly sounding rectify setting that cuts the fundamental and adds in even order harmonics. You can use the mix knob to blend the fundamental back in. I went with the discrete British setting for the bass. It was the cleanest sounding of the two. The even harmonics add in these perfect intervals that help the bass cut through the mix and remain present on smaller speakers. For the drum bus, I added in the 51 tube mic pre setting for some odd harmonic aggression, but it needed some extra reinforcement on the kick and snare. Saturation knob is a great, easy saturator, but be aware that it, as you increase the saturation, it will also increase gain until you get over the halfway point when it begins to round the transient peaks in a subtle, soft compression. Low emphasis for the kick, high emphasis for the snare, and I really love how it brings out that ping tone of the drum that's really gonna cut through the guitar. Speaking of guitars, I tried out Saturn on the guitar bus as well, adding in some odd harmonic saturation, and this plugin actually gives you the ability to pan your saturation, so I've got my guitars hard panned, it makes sense to try hard panning the saturation too. This way, we'll have a solid low end in the middle and a wall of guitars that wraps around the listener's head. Here's a rough mix before and after harmonic distortion.
There is such a wide tonal variety available to us. Whether you use built-in plugins or you have some free VSTs or you're dropping cash for Saturn or Decapitator, experiment with what you have available and learn what each can offer to your mixes. And I'd love to know what your favorite saturation plugin is and what kind of types you like to use. Please let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you're new, I'd love to see you as a subscriber. We do new videos each week. If you wanna see some more cool stuff and hear about a new course that I'm working on, follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you in the next video.